Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be sharing me setting up my teacher toolbox. This was filmed over a couple days because I ordered it and printed off the labels in the same day and then I had to wait a couple days for it to come in and then I just finally assembled it today. So I'm showing you all throughout the process of me setting up my teacher toolbox and I hope you'll enjoy. So I just printed off all the labels I bought from Krauss Math and I cut all the like border off of them since they were a little bit smaller than a piece of printer paper. And I went ahead and put them all in a laminating sheet and my laminator is ready. So let's go ahead and laminate these. teacher toolbox is finally here and so first thing I'm gonna do since it only has 24 drawers I'm gonna sort through these and pick the 24 that I want to use and it's not permanent like I'm just using double-sided tape to stick it on but I'm just gonna pick the 24 I think on the at first and then I can always change them around Okay, so I just finished sorting them. So there's like 73 labels in this pack. And so I have a lot that are right here. And then I ended up picking 25. And so I just went back through and took out the ink pad one because I can just put the ink pad one with the stamps. So now that I have these ready, I'm gonna take this out of the box and then I'll kind of like lay them out and see how I wanna organize them before I take them on. <laughs> Okay, so now that I'm looking at this, I have staples and staple remover. And so I think I can just take out staple remover and just use staples. And then I also have hot glue sticks and glue. And I'm just going to put the hot glue sticks in with the glue. And so I'm going to go through and pick out two more. Okay, so I chose four more. And so now I don't think I'm going to need Velcro dots all that often. And so I don't think I'm going to use that. I don't know about batteries. I feel like markers would be good to put in there even though but I already have Mr. Sketch markers up there so maybe I'll put those together so maybe I'll do batteries and miscellaneous items I don't know I don't know about batteries I think I'll just go with it for now and then see if I need it or if I need to change it out later on once I'm actually in the classroom so these are the 24 I've chosen and so now let's go ahead and put them on look 
so cute on them. I highly recommend. They're the perfect size and just so simple and cute. So that is it. That is my finished teacher toolbox. Thanks for watching this video of me setting up my teacher toolbox. I'm sure y'all will see it in my future classroom setup videos. Um, so stay subscribed to see some more videos and follow me on Instagram if you haven't. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.